no. Yeah, the one that said, yeah, I said, use a spoon. I sat here. <laughs> yeah, I tried to, but. Hooners also come around here. It is 9.45 on Saturday, and I had pretty good sleep, except for a good while. I got up like an hour ago, but I stayed in bed, and I was just on my phone, which is the best, plus just, it's freezing cold. I have a t-shirt, a long sleeve on, and my bathroom, and I'm still like freezing. We actually moved house, so we're in the new house, so this is my new bedroom, so the background looks different, but the lighting in this house, holy moly, I have a window right here, and it gives so much better lighting, so I'm so excited. I'm sorry I've gotten like, I didn't find anything on the web for. So here we go, I, so I'm so excited to do more vlogs, and so yeah, we're gonna do a little weekend vlog, Katie's at work today, but I'm um, at home for like, and have some plans today, so I'm gonna take you along with me, I'm gonna get up and get some breakfast. I don't know what I'm gonna have yet. I'm thinking I was gonna have a smoothie, but it's really cold. Oh, I made oats. That's right, I made oats. <laughs> I'm gonna have oats. Oh, yes, that makes me more excited for breakfast. All right, let's go get it. <laughs> have been like so off I'm trying to like think I was really hungry and I started eating and I started eating and I get less hungry and less hungry but I'm like I've only eaten a few bites and I realized because I wasn't focusing on what I was eating like your brain and your stomach are connected and they can't talk so you gotta focus your brain and your stomach so they can't talk so yeah I've been really trying to do that and it's so hard when you have such a habit to on your phone I get bored eating by myself and then I just get tired of eating but then I'm like no Food is for enjoyment. Like I should enjoy the food, not just be like, oh, when is this gonna be done? And shoveling food in. That's a pretty good. One. I cook them in the slow cooker overnight, so then I wake up and they're all cooked. I don't have a microwave, and I don't like having instant oats. I have steel cut oats. Anyway, so today's agenda. I'm gonna eat this, and then get ready to go to the gym. Now let's fix this hair. About to leave. 
already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Alrighty friends, I am already for the gym now In the car, hang on already for the gym in the car um a little life update i had covid a few weeks ago and this is actually my first gym session back since having covid so that's gonna be interesting how we go I'm just gonna take it really really slow i think i'm gonna do upper body i have my pre-workout and yeah so hopefully i'll go okay also because we moved house like i said before we're in like a different area. So, because we're in a different area, I'm going to a slightly different gym, but I've been there before. So, yeah, wish me luck and I'll hopefully film some stuff. My workout, and it was so good. I felt like really good. Um, so, I did upper body workout. I filmed it, I didn't end up filming it on this camera, but I filmed it all for Instagram. So, I'll like show you guys here. Instagram it's at Emma underscore and Kate um, we post the majority of our content on there I felt really good like that was the first workout since I having COVID and I just really took my time I took my time to warm up I did upper body and I did like put up not push a pull workout so it was like back and biceps so that was really good I forgot how much like moving my body made me feel good about my body I've been having like really bad body image lately and today I just felt so like good about my body I felt like yeah like when I take care of my body I feel the most confident in myself and I was wearing this bright purple outfit which I love it's the Whitney Simmons by Gymshark her like I guess fourth release it's the same set it's the same as the third version but it's like the new colors and I absolutely love it I kept this t-shirt on the whole time which is totally fine like we love a good pump cover even though I covered my pump the whole time <laughs> but that's okay you know like the fact that I felt comfortable wearing this beautiful bright color I just love it I matched the entire gym purple's also my favorite color can you tell purple shaker I have a purple gym towel I have a purple water bottle purple's just the vibe we love it um, so now I'm gonna go pick up a friend and we are going to bake some cookies and go for a walk So I'll show you that as well So yeah, honestly, I am I feel like I'm thriving today. I had a good sleep in I've changed my work schedule So I now have Saturdays off and that was a key thing I used to work every single Friday Saturday Sunday working in retail. And I still work in retail and I've been working in retail for about eight years and I've had Saturdays off for short periods of time But this is the first time I've now set that boundary Saturdays are for me is for setting like for having a weekend It's the opportunity to go and like do things like I could go to the beach I could go see friends because especially now um, that I'm 23 and I'm still at uni which is totally fine by the way Uni's for anyone at any age and I have worked on myself to, to tell myself that it's okay if I'm still at uni, I'm 23, but I do have friends that, you know, straight out of uni, went to, straight out of high school, went to uni, and then finished the, their degree within their three or four years, and they work full time, and it's like, I found it so hard to be social, because one, they're tired after work, I'm tired after work, they have work early the next day, so it's hang out during the weekday, so then it's good to have, like, the weekends now free to be able to see those friends, so this is only my second Saturday off since, like, I told work I can't work Saturdays. So like putting up that boundary was so good for myself and I'm just I feel like Saturdays are for me to thrive and I feel like I'm thriving today. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. With drugs. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Drugs to like help you. Yeah. Um 
he saw how expensive they are and he's, he's found a way to, to make them way more cost effective. And, and doing things like this can like, when we say disrupt the industry, <laughs> like they actually can change the industry. You know what I So he, he calls it oregano. He'd be like, can I have some oregano? But no, it's oregano. It's oregano. That's disgusting. It's oregano. What do, you, what do you mean? It's just the same thing. <laughs> oregano, just, you're adding extra. That's the thing. Australians shorten everything, but they will add extra syllables. And I don't understand why. Like, oregano is so much easier to say, or a. And there's no a. It's like, oregano. 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 It's all, it's all together. Like, just, you know, like, in Australia. Oregano. Yeah, or like you're in Yeah, but we, you, you gotta remember if it, we, we extend the 80s. Yeah, it's freaking weird. Comment down below. I'm keeping no, that. No. I'm keeping that conversation in. No. <laughs> Why? Comment down below if you say oregano or oregano. Which one's the right way? Okay, now I'll focus. Wait to, <laughs> I'm waiting to get in focus. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna bake some cookies. So we're gonna get out this OG, my favorite YouTuber from when I was like in high school, when I was like 12, Tanya Bakes. We're gonna make these salted Nutella cookies. Yum. Oh, okay. Perfect. Then what's the point of weighing it? To be, be more approximate. Yeah. Butter. And then you know what it says? We cream it together. Or in the day. You're also eating inappropriate. <laughs> I'm not. Right. Now we cream it together. This is all. Oh, this is gonna go everywhere. I don't care. Oh no. You're the one that said do it with your hands. I said use a spoon. Yeah, use your hands. Alrighty, cookies Ooh, are in the oven. They're looking good. And I've made my lunch. We got green beans, potato, chicken, and perinase. Yum, yum, yum. Gonna eat that now. Finished products of the cookies. I've already put some in the container and some here. Thumbnail. Smile. No. Alrighty, people. We are at Mount Kutha. If you live in Brisbane, and we're gonna do the walk and hopefully maybe see the sunset if we get there quick enough. It's fairly chilly, but we're at the JC Slaughter Falls picnic area, and we're gonna walk to the lookout and look at some views. Not me huffing and puffing. <sighs> I said not me huffing and puffing. He's got long legs. Too quick for me. We're puffed and now there's stairs. We? I am puffed. I'm keeping that in. 
to show them your true personality. I wouldn't recommend doing this when you're still recovering from COVID, but we're moving and I'm still breathing and my chest doesn't hurt. So that's good. Alrighty, now we're walking back down, but it's still light outside, even though this whole way will probably be in the dark. Downhill's gonna be a lot easier. Well, I should see, so it was like two kilometers coming up. It took us half an hour, and now we're going back down. Uh, 10. Well, I already told you. Yeah, but tell the camera. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Our standards aren't very high. There's some big boys. What? My standards are. Maybe not standards, your expectations, I don't know. Don't have expectations and your standards will be higher. <laughs> Terrible attitude. Only apply it to sunsets, obviously. <laughs> I wouldn't apply it to things like dating. Then you'll always be... Then you'll just end up with someone shit. <laughs> or, yeah, put your standards up, ladies. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. Or men. I don't know how many men. I have like 20% men, 70% female, so watch this. And there's only probably like 30 people that will actually watch this, but that's okay. I was listening to a podcast. What inspired me to do this vlog? I was watching a podcast and they're like, just vlog it for your own memories. Like just vlog it because you like to do it. And that's why I do this. It's fun. I like to watch back on like key memories, especially like a day like today, that we've done some fun stuff, had a good time. Same with like whenever I go to the beach, that's always a good time. My arm hurts now. Get all the angles. Thumbnail. Lane, walking as far away as he can get from me. He walks like double the speed as me and just walks off. How rude. I don't walk, you know if I walk. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be storming if you actually walked off. Hooners also come around here. All the hoons, wow, so cool. <laughs> That's really, <laughs> That's what I do. I see a hooner, I'm like, wow, do you actually think you're that cool? Like, do you think that gets girls' attention? Because it doesn't. Not, at least not for me. If you're a car girl, I'm no judgment. But if you've dated a car guy and you have no interest in cars, you, you know what I mean. Or if you date a car girl and you're a guy and you have no interests, you know? Or if you're just a person and you like cars, that's fine. But that's not my cup of tea. And you can tell me about cars, but if you go on for hours and hours and hours, I stop listening and I just go, yeah, that's cool. Roseanne, what do you talk about? What do you talk to me? What, what's like your hobby? Nothing. Nothing? <clears throat> basketball. But you don't really talk to me about basketball unless I ask, or unless like we're playing basketball. We played basketball yesterday. How did that go? <laughs> he laughed, which means it didn't go well for Emma. It boosted Zane's ego, that's for sure. Not his ego. Already, it boosted I, his. I already knew that. It boosted his happiness. He felt great crushing me, <laughs> flogging me, as you Australians say, and cream, as I would say, oh, but God. that's the word of the day. All right, if you had to give a word of the day for today, what would you give? What's the word of the day? No, I'm not doing that. No, what's, the, what's one word to describe today? No, I'm not doing that. Why? <laughs> You're no fun. Why? No. Don't you like to reflect? <laughs> I'm not doing it. Why? Oh, you can see the sun set, the pinkiness in the trees. Pinky. See, if we left any light, it would be in the dark. 
I'm just gonna spooky. I'm scared of the dark. I'm scared of the dark, yeah. Yes, I am scared of the dark. This is good. And I am not Never ashamed. Fun. Having so much fun. Talking, Until I trip. Talking to yourself. <laughs> Until I trip. <laughs> So I just dropped my friend home, it's much later now. We just had dinner, hung out after the walk. Um, yeah, and that's really it. So I just dropped him home, I have work tomorrow. So hopefully this could either just be one vlog. So if it is, hope you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you wanna see more little like weekend vlogs like this. Otherwise Katie might pick this up tomorrow and make like a weekend vlog, we'll see. But I'll talk to you real soon, bye.